Welcome back to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on dilations. Some basic stuff you should know are the xy coordinate plane, how to plot points, as well as uh, how to multiply by integers, fractions, and decimals. So make sure you know those and let's get started. So what exactly is a dilation? Well, a dilation is when you make a figure bigger or smaller. You're not changing the, the shape itself, you're really just changing the size. So let's say, for example, here we are talking about your eyes. So here you have eyes. A little scary, but uh, it helps me make my point. Well, when you go to the doctor and they put light in your eyes, your pupils dilate. What they really mean by dilate is they uh, get a little bit bigger or they get a little bit smaller. Uh, the more light that goes in your eyes, the smaller your pupils get. But as you see here, it doesn't change shape. Your pupils still say circles, but they just get smaller. So that's exactly what a dilation is. Dilation is when we are changing a shape's uh, size, but not the shape itself. So how do we dilate figures? Well, we basically just use something called a scale factor. And the scale factor tells you how to change the size of a figure. If a scale factor is bigger than one, then the shape gets bigger. And if a scale factor is smaller than one, then the shape gets smaller. So how exactly do we name a dilation? After you move a point using the rule, you name a point by a prime. So for example, this here, A becomes A prime. That's what this little uh, one here means. It's not really a one, it's really called prime. So A becomes A prime, and it's red A prime. B becomes B prime, which is red B prime. And C becomes C prime, and that's red as C prime. So dilation notation. What we need to do is use our scale factor. The way we dilate points is basically we multiply by the scale factor. And that's exactly why whenever we have a scale factor that's greater than 1, our figure gets bigger. Think about it. If you multiply a number by 2, it's going to double. If you multiply a number by 3, it's going to triple. So anytime we multiply by a number that's greater than 1, we are getting a number or an answer that's bigger. So that's all that's happening with our scale factor. Let's take an example. Let's say we have a point with the coordinates x, y. Well, our p prime, that's what this notation here means, is going to be 2 times x and 2 times y. So all we're doing here is we're multiplying our x coordinate by the scale factor, which is going to be 2x, and our y coordinate by the scale factor, and that's why we have 2y here. The scale factor will make the new shape bigger. What if we have a scale factor of 1 half? Well, that is less than 1, and let's take a look at the notation. Same exact thing, our point P at coordinates x, y will become P prime at coordinates 1 half times x and 1 half times y. Again, all we're doing is we're multiplying uh, our x coordinate by our scale factor and our y coordinate by our scale factor. That's why we have 1 half times x and 1 half times y. And the scale factor will make the new shape smaller. Now let's see this in action. We have a triangle here, triangle ABC, where A is at 2, 2, uh, B is at 0, 4, and C is at negative 2, 3. Now let's say our scale factor is 2. Well, what's going to happen? Let's take a look at A first. A is going to become A prime, and that's going to be 2 times 2, and again 2 times 2, because our X was 2, that's times 2, and our Y is 2, and we multiply that by 2. And our new point is going to be A prime, at 4, 4. How about B? B prime is going to be 0 times 2 and 4 times 2. Again, we're just multiplying by our scale factor. So 0 times 2 is 0, 4 times 2 is 8, so that's going to be the point B prime, 0, 8. So how about C? What's C going to look like? How's C going to change? Well, our scale factor is 2, so we're going to multiply our x coordinate by 2, and our y coordinate by 2. So c prime is going to have negative 2 multiplied by 2 and 3 multiplied by 2. Well, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 3 times 2 is 6. So our c prime is going to be negative 4, 6. And then we plot our points. a prime is at 4, 4. b prime is at 0, 8. c prime is at negative 4, 6. And that's going to give us our new shape. You can tell that even though the location is a little bit different, 
it's basically double the size of this shape, which makes sense because our scale factor is two. So it is going to be double the size. How about here? This time we have a scale factor of a half. So what do you think? Is our dilated shape going to be bigger or smaller? Well, it's going to be smaller because it has a scale factor that's less than one. Remember, anytime you multiply by a number bigger than one, you're gonna get a bigger answer. And anytime you multiply by a number that's less than one, you're going to get a smaller answer. So let's start by dilating point A. So what do we do with our scale factor? Well, we multiply both our x coordinate and our y coordinate by one half. So we're gonna multiply uh, negative eight by one half and one by one half. So a prime is going to be negative eight times one half and one times one half. Negative eight times one half is negative four. One times a half is a half. So our new point is going to be negative four one half. How about b? Well, b prime is going to be negative nine times one half and negative two times one half. Well, negative nine times one half is gonna give you negative 4.5 or negative four and a half, and negative two times one half is gonna give you negative one. So our new coordinates are negative four and a half, negative one. How about C? Well, C prime is going to be negative three times one half and negative four times one half. Negative three times one half is negative one and a half. Negative four times one half is gonna be negative two, so our new coordinates are negative one and a half, negative two. And finally, our point D. Well, D prime is going to be negative two times one half and two times one half. Negative two times one half is negative one. Two times one half is positive one. So D prime is going to be at negative one, one. The last thing to do is just to plot our points. And remember, we're plotting our new points, our prime. We're plotting A prime at negative four, one half. B prime at negative four, one and a half, and negative one, C prime at negative one and a half, negative two, and D prime at negative one, one. So let's do that. Here we're plotting A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime, and then we connect our points, and that's our figure, A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. How about here? This time we have a triangle. Let's take a look at our scale factor. Our scale factor is two thirds. So what do you think is going to happen to our figure? Do you think it's going to get bigger or do you think it's going to get smaller? Well, it's going to get smaller because remember, our scale factor here is less than one. Therefore, our new shape is going to be smaller. Let's take a look at our first point, x. x prime is going to be x prime six times two thirds, three times two thirds. Well, six times two thirds and three times two thirds is going to give us our new point. Six times two thirds is four, three times two thirds is two. So that's going to be Four, two. Y prime is going to be negative six times two thirds and positive six times two thirds. So negative six times two thirds is going to be negative four. Six times two thirds is positive four. So Y prime is going to be at negative four, four. And Z is gonna be pretty simple. Z prime is basically zero times whatever that is. So that's just gonna be zero. Our Z prime is going to be the same location as our point Z. The last thing we need to do is plot our points to get triangle x prime, y prime, z prime, and that's going to look as follows. There's x prime, there's y prime, there's z prime. We then connect our points, and that's our new triangle. And finally, here we have a quadrilateral. Now our scale factor is 2.5, so what do you think? Do you think our figure is gonna get bigger, or do you think it's gonna get smaller? Well, it's 2.5, so it's greater than one. Therefore, our new figure is actually going to be bigger than our original figure. So let's start with Q. We have Q negative one, positive one, so Q prime is going to be negative one times two and a half and one times two and a half. That's going to be negative two and a half and two and a half. How about R prime? R prime is going to be one times two and a half and one times two and a half. That's pretty simple because we're just multiplying by one. That's gonna be two and a half, two and a half. How about S? S prime is going to be three times two and a half and negative one times two and a half. Therefore, our new point is going to be seven and a half, negative two and a half. And finally, T. T prime, we're multiplying both our X and our Y by our scale factor, which is two and a half. So what's that gonna be? Well, T prime is gonna be negative two times two and a half and negative two times two and a half. And that's going to be negative five, negative five. Again, last thing we have to do is just plot our points, so let's do that. 
We've got Q prime, R prime, S prime, and T prime. We then connect them, and there is our new figure, quadrilateral Q prime, R prime, S prime, T prime. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. So let's go over our answers. Number one, W prime is at six, negative 10.5. Number two, T prime is at negative one, three. Number three, R prime is at negative six, negative eight. Number four, Z prime is at 15, 21. And number five, we'll see what it should look like on the next page. So here we have STU, triangle STU. S is at point uh, eight eight, T is at point negative four six, U is at point zero negative four. Now our scale factor is one fourth. So do you think our figure is going to be bigger or smaller than the original? Well, the answer is it's going to be smaller because you're multiplying by one fourth, and any time the scale factor is less than one, we get a smaller figure. So here are our new points. So S prime is going to be at 8 times 1 fourth, and the other coordinate, the y coordinate, is at 8 times 1 fourth also. 8 times 1 fourth is 2, 8 times 1 fourth here is also 2, so that's going to be s prime at 2, 2. How about t? t right now is at negative 4, 6, so t prime is going to be at negative 4 times 1 fourth and 6 times 1 fourth. Well, negative 4 times 1 fourth is going to be negative 1, 6 times 1 fourth is going to be at positive 1 and a half, Therefore, our coordinates for t prime are negative 1, positive 1 and a half. How about point u? Point u is at 0, negative 4. Well, that means u prime is going to be at 0 times 1 fourth and negative 4 times 1 fourth. 0 times 1 fourth is very simple because that's just going to be 0. And negative 4 times 1 fourth is actually going to be negative 1. So our new coordinates for u prime are 0, negative 1. And just like with all of our other examples, the last thing left to do is just to plot our points. So here's S prime, T prime, and U prime, and you connect them, and that's our new figure, triangle S prime, T prime, U prime. Now keep in mind, the scale factor was 1 fourth, and that's why our new figure, our image here, is actually about 1 fourth the size of our original image. So let's go over our answers. Changing the size of a figure is called dilation. When you dilate a shape or figure, you must multiply by the scale factor. When you transform a point, the new point is called a prime. Remember, if you change the location of point A, uh, then a new point is going to be called A prime. If you change the location of point B, it's going to be called B prime, and so on and so forth. When the scale factor is bigger than 1, the new figure is bigger than the original. Remember, we said that before, it's just like whenever you multiply regular numbers. Anytime you multiply by a number that's greater than 1, you get a bigger answer. And anytime you multiply by a fraction or decimal, which has a value less than 1, your figure gets smaller. So, when the scale factor is smaller than 1, the new figure is smaller than the original. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.